Hello, my name is Maggie and I am a beloved child of God and so are you. I have a toy with me today. Can you see it? Isn't it cute? It's a baby doll. Well, she's not real, but I can play with her. <laughs> One way she's really different from real babies is that she doesn't let you know that she's hungry. Well, she doesn't get hungry or thirsty or tired. But have you ever been around a real baby? Do they let you know when they're hungry or thirsty or tired or scared or sad or happy? They do, don't they? And one thing about real babies is they don't care. They don't care where you are. You, if you're in church, if you're at a movie, if you are in a private quiet place, if it's the middle of the night, if they are hungry or scared or thirsty or they need something or they want something or they need comfort, they're going to let you know. They're not shy about it, are they? It seems like something happens as we get older. We seem to, a lot of the times, kind of hold back when we need things or we don't share them. Well, we certainly don't act like babies, do we? And cry and scream. Okay, well, sometimes maybe we do act like babies, but it becomes where it's not so natural for us to let everybody know that we want or we need something. In today's Bible story, um, in Mark, Jesus is walking with his friends, and there's a man sitting on the side of the road, Bartimaeus, and he's blind, and he's screaming out. He's saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he screams it out, and everybody around him is like, shh, be quiet. Why are you screaming at Jesus? Can't you see he's a very important man? Quit bothering him. Well, the more they tell him to be quiet, the louder he gets, and he keeps screaming, and he's loud, and he's screaming out for Jesus. And Jesus stops. He says, what do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus says, I want to see. Jesus replies, your faith has healed you. Bartimaeus could have been quiet when they said, shh, don't bother Jesus, be quiet. He could have been quiet and just kept it to himself. But he believed. He believed that that man walking by him could help him. And he didn't stop and be embarrassed to be too embarrassed to ask or even worry about whether or not Jesus could help him. He didn't say, can you help me? Or are you able to do this? He said, Jesus, I want to be able to see. He just went straight to Jesus with exactly what he wanted and what he was feeling and what he was experiencing. And Jesus says, go, your faith has healed you. He had faith. He took a problem to Jesus and he believed that Jesus would be able to help him through that problem. And the Bible says that we can do that too. God wants us to do that, to come to God with whatever we're feeling. If it's something that you think is maybe too silly and, you know, Nobody else really cares about that, or I shouldn't be complaining, or that's just a silly dream I have, or I don't know why I feel funny like this, but I do. Well, first off, I'll say that God already knows about it. And second off, I'll say it will feel better when you take it to God, when you take it to Jesus and say, Jesus, I know that you walked this earth. You know what it feels like to be a human. I'm feeling these weird feelings, or this is something I want. Or take it to God and say, God, I've just got all of this stuff going on. And one thing I like to do is I like to say that I just climb up in God's lap and just sit there and just be. And you can feel whatever you want to feel and think whatever you want to think and take it to God. And I'll pray to the Holy Spirit and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this thing that I need to get through, but I know you can do it, Holy Spirit. Be with me and help me through this. No matter how silly it seems or how we don't want to admit something, you can always admit it to God because God already knows. And it's your faith. It's you being in relationship with God, being a vulnerable child of God that heals you no matter what it is. Thank you, God that we can come back to you again and again with all of our problems, big and small, our joys, our fears, everything.
and thank you for loving us through it all. Amen. In Children's Chapel today, there's some, we played some games, but also we made megaphones. And I'll put the pattern on the email that I send out to y'all. But I thought this was fun because you can make a megaphone and talk through it. And it says on one side, it says, speak up. And on the other side, I wrote, tell Jesus what you need. And this is a reminder that you don't have to actually make your voice louder, but you can always, always, always have a voice. You always can when you want to talk to Jesus. You can just think it. You can just feel it. You can even say, I don't know what it is I have to say to you, God. You know what it is I have to say to you, God. I just want to be with you. And God says, sounds good to me. I hope you all have a great week. And I hope you remember that I love you and that God loves you. Take care.